It was towards the end of January and I woke up to find it had snowed heavily overnight. The pine trees outside my bedroom window were almost completely white and there wasn't a single footprint on the sidewalk. This was the town I had grown up in just outside of Chicago. I could hear my dog Fever getting restless in the next room. Fever was a rescue dog who had nearly starved to death when his owner was killed in a car accident. One of my best friends, Alison, worked at an animal rehabilitation centre and knew I was looking for a dog. She said he had tried to bite one of her colleagues, so they would have to put him down if no one adopted him. I went down to meet him and knew right away he was the right dog for me. In March, I lost nearly £8,000 to an insurance scam. I wasn't happy in my life, even though I had always wanted to write comic books, I somehow ended up being a travel writer. So I had to go out of town a lot, and during one such trip in Morocco, I discovered on social media that my girlfriend was cheating on me with someone I had known since preschool. At first I thought I was just being paranoid, so I didn't confront her. Then one night I saw her car parked outside his house. I know a lot of people might have lost their head over stuff like that, but I'm pretty even-tempered and very rarely get angry. So she moved out and the dog moved in. It was such a beautiful day that I decided to take Fever for a long walk. We went past my old high school and for some reason I remembered the time my friend had slipped on the ice and broken his wrist. I went to get the nurse and when I came back I saw that the bone was sticking out of the skin and I vomited right there beside him. After circling the lake we cut through town to get home and bumped into Alison. Then we sat down to drink a hot chocolate together. Alison was 28, the same age as me, but she looked a lot younger. We always used to joke that she'd be getting ID'd until she had grey hair. It was like that, having grown up in a small town, memories everywhere I looked. In some ways it was comforting, in other ways it was haunting. For the first time in my life I realised that I had feelings for Alison that were more than just friendly and that I should perhaps ask her to dinner.